Okay, uh, more like a like a, a speed run video. So, uh, I I didn't I didn't see Pesky's video, but I just saw like the TLDR. I mean his comment that he left. Um, in regards to. Uh, like the, if you're wondering what his Sarko video, his more recent Sarko video, uh, let me find it. I think he had it pinned. Uh, where it's like charging thirty dollars total for extra dinosaurs. They'll be available later anyway. It's not tired of it one topping the, pizza deals. Shut the fuck up. Uh, at the moment, since similar games like the island are much further into their development processes and yet only cost $20 flat, and with no extra charge to unlock certain dinosaurs, all are included in, in the initial fee. Meanwhile, Path of Titans is requiring a payment of $10 more unless you opt to wait for this game's release. So it's not like overly critical. Uh, I think it should be relatively obvious, but just in case for anyone that doesn't really understand, um, I, for me at least, I got the $50 one. I got the $50 for like the skins and stuff like that. Because one, I really wanted to support the game. Um, two, I kind of want my, like some skins to kind of show that, hey, I've, I, I fucking pre-ordered this. Uh, suck my cock. Um, and yeah, the thing is, to be honest, I would actually pay $30 for this game. And the thing is, in its current f phrase of development, even though it's very, very early in its development, it is way more developed than Beast of Bermuda and the Isle. I'm not saying, I'm not, gonna sh I'm not shitting on the Isle or Beast of Bermuda. Well, in, in technical terms, I am shitting on the Isle because it's been around for a long time. Um, but I would definitely pay $30 for this. Like, one of the reasons why I say that is, um, once you, if you have your idea, if you have an idea of paying X amount of money, let's just say 50 bucks on Call of Duty or whatever, you know that money, that money is going to go to your entertainment and nothing else. It is nothing more than just entertainment and that's it. By that I mean, you know what you're gonna be doing with the, with the money you're gonna pay. So, it is more the consumer's problem if they buy the thirty dollar game to get a creature. Now, with kind of putting Sarko behind the paywall for the pre-release only branches, you go in this area where you donated money. You donated money to a specific branch of the Kickstarter or Indiegogo in this case and that, that's how that it, how it is Sorian had it Sorian Kickstarter like of course with like five bucks you're not going to get the uh, a fucking beta key actually you might actually no you don't you get a thank you and that's it for twenty bucks, you get a digital copy of the game. Copy of the game, uh, whatever. All right. So I can't say I don't know. I buy. I can't get this and complain that I can't play the game, right? It says right there. Oh, you get your name and credits. Nothing else. You know what you're paying your money for, and that's it. You can't really complain. If you want to donate more money, or edit your um, your pledge amount. I'm not too sure how it works with Path of Titans. I personally haven't found a, a necessity to change anything because I, I kind of felt comfortable in my current place. Um, but yeah, uh, here five bucks. Wait, what? Where are we? Okay, I think this is just at if. If we actually want, like, already bought the game already. Huh. Well, let's keep going. Um, 
So one dollar exclusive backer skin. This is probably for like mobile copy. I think this is just along with a fifteen dollar game. Here we are, a thirty dollar game. You get the demo access and pre-release access, which you get it um, before actual release. I think it's just that you get it early on. So if you get this, let's just pretend. Wait a minute, never mind. That's not the one I want. I, I have no idea. But you see where I am, right? You order a specific little um, perk which you purchase of course you're putting money on the table and you know that money is not gonna be there anymore I mean, I would think most of you guys are gonna be adults or have a job so you very, you know the you know very well the risks that you're putting on the table the thing is with like Kickstarter or Indiegogo is you gotta consider like what um, uh, Sid Alpha says in one of his, um, I think it was like that one feminist one where it's like one guy committed suicide and all that, where it's like, it is a 50-50. It is very important to say, A, I'm just going to drop this throwawayable, throwaway money and hopefully it gets somewhere. Um, but you also accept the consequences of it not actually paying to, for tuition and leading to a disappointment. So, it says right there, and you have, it has full context. However, putting Sarko behind that pre-release access, as I, I don't think I have said before, but I'll say it, um, I think it's more, it's a good idea for business-wise, so people could get more, put more money on the table, so you get a little more support going in. Um, so, development can continue and I think they delayed the the release pre-release so it's fine I'm not necessarily I don't have a problem with that so here's the one I bought right so I get below items for Windows and all that full game access demo access pre-release access all 18 exclusive backer skins one copy of a digital soundtrack and one digital art book Yeah, I, I think that was it. That seems about right. So, I'm not going to be mad. I, I did throw away uh, 50 bucks. But the thing is, I said, yeah, this money is uh, not going to be with me anymore. So I just dropped it. Um, now, in terms of like, is it worth it or not? I, it's dependent on the consumer. Uh, I would suggest you guys be a little more careful, you know, act, read the fine text before going any further with your purchase. It's like, hey, I want to play as X creature um, and all that. So if you don't want to spend much money, if you don't want to spend $30 on a game, uh, wait. But if you want to support the game and... Um, play as the, the play the game as the all the character or creatures uh, then go for it just be very aware that you are taking a risk um, and honestly I don't really mind paying 30 bucks I don't understand the issue I think it is worth that um, asking price compared to the aisle it is definitely worth it like you have shit to do you've it's relatively smooth gameplay and it, it isn't an overall pain in the ass and they're very explicit with how they are managing their game and they give is it like bi-weekly, weekly dev updates so um, for me at least I think it's worth it if you want to support it and um you have like throwaway money that you don't really. Of course, don't put yourself in debt, right? Don't don't fuck yourself over. But yeah.
I think the overall summary for this video is not necessarily any anything defining. It's just that a game like Saurian, for example, I'm not going to say people lost their money, but I will definitely say um, you took a risk and you can't necessarily complain about it. Well you, well, you can't complain because you did pay money for it. But you just can't really say you got scammed, right? You knew the risks and you took them. And of course, with Soarin', it's a little more up in the air. But of course, I'm going to say Soarin' is not going to get done faster. It is definitely going to, it's much slower than the aisle. But I think this video has gone long enough. Uh, I'm kind of just dragging it on at this point. But um, I, I felt with this video I was a little loose with how I was trying to portray my points and my arguments. But I hope my idea came across generally well or to an extent of being understandable. Uh, fuck. Understandable? Um... So, yeah, I mean, it, it, I would say it's overall very much worth it to pay money for this. And, yeah, I'll see you guys.